Everyone wants to be more productive and get more stuff done in a short amount of time. As programmers, we're always trying to learn new tools, new shortcuts that will make our life easier and allow us to get stuff done faster. If you're new here, my name is Kareem from AfterNerd.com and in this video, I will teach you eight tips that will make you a more productive Python programmer on VS Code, whether you are on a Mac or a PC. So let's jump right in. Tip number one, fast commenting. Let's say you have more than one line that you want to comment out. In this case, let's say we want to comment out these three lines. The new way of doing this is to comment out each line separately. So first we comment out the first line, then we go down, comment out the second line, and then we go down again and comment out the third line. But there is a faster way to do this. What you can do is you can select all the lines that you want to comment out. And then if you are on a Mac, you press command forward slash. If you are on a PC, you press control and forward slash. What this will do is it will comment out all of the lines that you've selected. Not only that, if you also want to uncomment these lines, you do the same thing. All you have to do is select all the lines that you want to uncomment and then press either command forward slash or control forward slash, depending on if you are on a Mac or a PC. Tip number two, cutting the whole line. So many times as programmers, what we need to do is we want to cut a full line from our code and paste it somewhere else. The new way of doing this is to essentially select or highlight the full line that we want to cut and then press Command X on a Mac or Control X on a Windows and then paste this code wherever we want. But that's the noob way and we're not noobs. We're pros here. So what you're gonna do is instead of selecting the whole line, you're just gonna completely ignore this part. All you have to do is when you are on a specific line, if you press Command X on a Mac or Control X on a PC, what's going to happen is VS Code is just gonna cut the whole line for you. And then you can paste this line anywhere else in your code. It's as easy as that. Tip number three, multiple cursors. This one is pretty neat and trust me, there will come a time when you'll find using multiple cursors can save you a ton of time. So what is multiple cursors? VS Code allows you to use multiple cursors on the editor. Let me show you. Let's say I have a program like this where I want to import some Python modules, and I copied and pasted these modules here on my editor, but they're missing the import keyword that should go before them. So of course, if I want to add the import keyword, I can do that before each one of them, but a better, faster, and more productive way of doing this is to use multiple cursors. In order to be able to use multiple cursors on the editor, all you have to do is if you are on a Mac, you press down the option key and then you click on where you want the extra cursors to be. If you are on a PC, you press down the Alt key and then you click on where you want the extra cursors to be. So in this case, I want an extra cursor here and here and here. And then all I need to do now is type one import and then space, and that's pretty much it. Tip number four, multiple line indentation. As you know, in Python, indentation is very important. And in some scenarios, you will want to indent more than one line forwards or backwards. So if you want to indent more than one line forwards, all you have to do is select all the lines that you want to indent, and then you press the tab key, and that's it. If you want to indent all of these lines backwards, you select all of them and then you press shift and tab and they will be indented back. This will reverse your indentation. I know most of you are already aware of this feature, but I also know some of you are not. So I wanted to talk about it real quick, just in case you haven't heard of it before. Tip number five, moving a line of code up or down. We talked earlier about how you can cut a full line of code and paste it somewhere else in your code. But if you want to paste this line of code close to where you're cutting it from, it might be a little bit more efficient to actually move the line rather than cut and paste the line. Let me show you how you can do that. Let's say you are on this line and you want to move this full line of code down. All you have to do is if you are on a Mac, you press down the option key and the down arrow. If you are on a PC, you press down the alt key and the down arrow. If you want to move up, Instead of pressing on the down arrow, you press the option key and the up arrow. Tip number six, 
peaking the definition of a symbol. This one is very useful. I use it all the time. Let me show you what you can do with it. Say you're browsing through your code and you come across a symbol, could be the name of a class, a name of a function, but you want to learn more about this symbol. So for example, here, I have this playing card, which looks like the name of a class. And I want to look at this class, but I don't really want to search for this class and go to the file where this class is defined. I just want to quickly look at the definition of this class here in this window. To do that, it's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is have your cursor on the symbol that you want to peek the definition of, and then you press down the option key if you are on a Mac and then F12. And as you can see, you can peek through the definition of the playing card class. If you are on a PC, you press down the Alt key and F12. Like I said, this one is a time saver and I personally use it all the time. Tip number seven. Visual Studio Code has an integrated terminal in the editor itself. For example, let's say you are in VS Code, you're writing some beautiful Python code, and all of a sudden you just wanna go to the terminal because you want to check, let's say, the content of a file, a text file. So one way to do this is to just leave VS Code go to the terminal, check the content of the file, and then come back to the editor and resume coding. However, with the integrated terminal that Visual Studio Code has, you don't really need to leave the editor. All you need to do to bring this integrated terminal up is to press down on the control key and the back tilt character key, and then you have a terminal. You can do whatever you want on this terminal. Tip number eight, Python snippets. You see, most of the time when we're coding in Python, what happens is we have some repetitive code that we keep typing over and over again. For example, think about something like if name equal main or uh, try accept else statements or try accept finally statements. So these are things that we will have to do in a repetitive fashion. If you want to quickly be able to type these repetitive code without having to type every single character in it, you can install an extension called Python snippets by CStrap. And what this extension will allow you to do is it will allow you to write this pieces of repetitive code using an abbreviation rather than writing everything from scratch. Let me show you. For example, let's say I'm here and I want to type out if name equal equal main, which is pretty much something that you would need to do if you are writing your main function. Instead of writing out every single character of this code, what you can do is replace this by if main, and then you'll see that out of the suggestions is the snippet that will fill this out for you. So if you click on it, you get this on the screen. If the suggestions do not come out on the screen, what you can do is you can press control space, whether you are on a Mac or a PC and the suggestions will come out. Another example, let's say you want to write a try except finally statement. The abbreviation for that is try F. So all you need to do is type try F, look at the suggestions and pick the try except finally snippet. And that's all you need to do. There are tons and tons of snippets that this extension has. I will link down below to the extensions website so you can go there and take a look at all of the different snippets that they have. But this one, that, that one is a time saver. So install this extension right away and make use of it. These are the eight tips that I have for you that will hopefully increase your productivity when you're coding in Python and Visual Studio Code. I'll see you in the next video.